In 2014, the commissioners of the ports of Seattle and Tacoma came up with a bold vision. Instead of competing with each other, the two ports decided to join forces and form an alliance, an unprecedented, historic first in North America. This all got underway over a year ago. Some conversations with commissioners and executive level staff around how we can work more collaboratively together rather than compete with each other. From our standpoint, the ports have done a fabulous job investing and growing and changing the way they do business, frankly evolving. By leveraging the strengths of the two ports, Port of Seattle and Tacoma, we're a, a, a stronger powerhouse as a gateway. If we didn't have strong ports right in our backyard, our costs would be a lot higher. Moving product to Asia, for example, um, we wouldn't necessarily be as competitive. Ports are our lifeline for our clients to get to their customers. The relationships that we build are certainly partnerships. We bring our individual financial capabilities to the table and combine those together. And then, as I said, we can uh, make uh, strategic investments in our gateway that uh, match the needs of our customers. As well, we believe that we'll have a stronger voice at the state and federal level. As the ports worked independently, the ultimate long term vision, I think, for all providers, and, and now it's coming to fruition, that they work together, that they combine their resources and look for ways to deliver value to this marketplace that differentiates us from anywhere else in our country. We pride ourselves on being proactive and performance driven. We put unrelenting focus on anticipating challenges and providing solutions, operational excellence, and the best complete value to our customers worldwide. And our ports are ranked number one in ease of doing business. Certainly, uh, our customers have made significant changes in the marketplace to respond to the changes in the industry. Primarily, our competition in the Pacific Northwest is Southern California. They're a great port, they're a big port, they have a vast pool of resources. However, there is some congestion. Drivers wait in line, there's standby times, there's extra chassis fees, you can't necessarily turn containers in because there's no space at the terminals. Through the formation of our operations center, we're going to be focused on all aspects of operations, from the time the vessel ties up to the dock, um, to the time that the cargo moves through the terminal, be it uh, onto rail, road. And the vision to combine and collaborate in the Pacific Northwest is so profound that when you speak tactfully and strategically with a new client or a new prospect, it really resonates that there are two large ports, deep water, that allow for goods to come in and are expeditiously removed from the container ships and made available for our contractors and our warehousing folks to do what they need to do. In other markets, it can take extra time. Our shipping line customers have upsized their vessels significantly. They've also formed their own alliances, and so this Northwest Seaport Alliance, I believe, responds to the changes that they've made by leveraging our capital investments in infrastructure, terminal infrastructure, and the supporting road and rail infrastructure to match the needs of our customers. There's all these issues that I foresee the Alliance hopefully being able to make those issues way more efficient, which will ultimately help the shippers control their costs. It matters greatly to our customers that when they invest in our gateway, that they know that it is easy to do business. And part of that is the value proposition that we bring to the table, both price points as well as operational excellence. So we need to work with our key stakeholders to make sure that collectively we move the cargo from its origin to destination in a manner that is highly competitive. We know that our competitive difference and the value we create does not end with our customers. We recognize our responsibility to the region and proactively create programs that enhance our community by creating jobs, reducing our environmental footprint, and boosting our state's economy. A lot of times people just forget that those ports are even there. So I just think there's a real lack of understanding of how viable those those ports are, can be, particularly when you're talking about increasing TEUs to Tacoma and Seattle to six million. I mean, that's a big number. I would just say that it's an exciting time for the region. It has been a bold step in leadership by our two commissions and uh, really sets an example. I'm excited about the uh, future of our gateway. This idea 
This, this connection between the ports opens up an entire new world for employment for our marketplace. I see tremendous upside for the key stakeholders of the port, the communities that we serve, by us uh, rationalizing our strategic investments in our infrastructure and uh, really maximizing the capabilities of our port facilities. There can only be good that comes from that in terms of jobs and economic wealth. I can't put a number on how many opportunities and how many jobs are gonna be provided ultimately, but certainly as we grow and we speak about um, the value and the difference in our marketplace and more cargo comes our direction and it's handled properly and accurately the way that it can be, you're only going to see employment, jobs, growth, and an evolution in the Pacific Northwest that frankly, it's a long time coming. It's gonna be a very, very good next decade to get this ramped up. Before every endeavor lies a road ahead we envision our road as a great opportunity for the growth of our business, our region, providing value to our customers, serving our community. Our organization has never been more excited about the future for the port and, and the alliance that's in place simply because they already do a great job. They already have capacity and there's only growth opportunity as long as the folks like me and our peers in this marketplace are out there articulating the differentiators and, and really selling the capacity that we have. We need to bring shippers that don't come here now into this town and show them who we are. We have some optimistic stretch goals, both in terms of the financial performance of our uh, Northwest Seaport Alliance as well as the volumes of cargo. We've set some lofty 10-year goals that we believe are achievable, yet it's going to take the collective effort of all of the key stakeholders within the Alliance all coming together with this shared vision. A critical thing that's often overlooked that the Alliance is going to be able to be one voice going down to Olympia now and saying, hey, this is what we need, and you're not going to have two competing interests that are, are fighting for the same years down in Olympia. So I, I think that's going to be a big advantage for us. The exciting and challenging aspect of the job is to take uh, two organizations that have been independent and bring them together as one and really focus that competitive spirit on improving our gateway for the benefit of the region. I'm really excited about the bringing together of our key stakeholders, including our labor partners, the railroads, the trucking companies, the warehouse distribution companies, and that collective power that, uh, and focus that comes together. And with that, um, I believe that this gateway will be one of the most attractive gateways in all of North America. As the third largest gateway in North America, our customers can rely on us for less congestion, higher efficiencies, and an honest, straightforward approach to business. We set our bar high. We know with our customers, partners, and community, we have what it takes to get there. The Northwest Seaport Alliance, gateway to solutions.